I am Bixby here from the Better Death Collective. Uh, for you curiosity seekers, today we're going to open up a niche in a columbarium so that people can understand what these look like and how they're put together and where you place your loved one's cremated remains uh, for safekeeping. So uh, watch this and it will enlighten you to uh, what these structures are made of and how all this works. So essentially what we have is a concrete structure that is clad with uh, granite or marble. Uh, and all of these little individual faces represent a, a niche. A niche is a place where you play, that you uh, place your loved one's cremated remains and then they can, they can put like a brass marker on these. These little rosettes or medallions are what keep this granite face in place. So they make a little special tool that fits into the center of this rosette, and you can see that this comes out rather easily. Uh, this is not a tool that uh, people can go buy at Home Depot or anything like that. This is specifically made for this type of work. Uh, so it's to gain access to the actual niche itself. So as you can see, the rosettes have been removed. So then what you do at that point in time is you re remove that piece of granite face, and then that is the inside of what would be considered a cremation niche. And you place the cremated remains within this. And then there is another uh, piece of concrete board that would be installed and caulked in. So that way, if you were to take this face off, you wouldn't be able to gain entry. Once the cremains are placed within the niche itself, you return the actual face to the niche. Then you simply put the rosettes back on and secure the niche. And then a lot of times these can hold one to two sets of cremains. So for those of you who always wondered what these might have looked like inside, this has answered the question for you. So uh, find out more information by uh, watching the Better Death Collective. Uh, some good educational and interesting finds for you. More to come.